Today I'm going to be showing you guys three different looks for 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. As always, start by pulling your hair back and having a fresh, clean face. So everything you're going to need for the 6th grade look is powder, concealer, lip gloss, mascara, primer, an uh, optional eyelash curler, and a kabuki brush. Start by putting the primer on your eyelids and under your eyelids to make sure your concealer stays on all day. Alright, now grab your concealer and put it under your eyes and also add a little bit on the corner of your eye because doing this can really brighten up your entire face. Alright, now I'm getting a kabuki brush and a powder that's just my shade and putting this all over my face. Instead of using a liquid foundation or something heavier, just go light since you're in 6th grade. Alright, now mascara time. I'm also curling my eyelashes before I do this, but the mascara that I'm going to be using is really awesome. And this is the CoverGirl Lash Exact and it's perfect because it doesn't give you any clumps and it looks very natural, which is perfect for school. <laughs> I'm using is liquid lip smackers and it just brings back memories because this is what I used all the time when I was in sixth grade. Moving on to seventh grade, everything I used was a Eco Tools blush brush, Sephora blush in peach tundra, and Maybelline eyeshadow in champagne fizz. First use the eyeshadow and just use a little sponge that came with it to put it all over your eyelids. It's very simple and easy. the blush I showed you before and just put that on the apples of my cheeks. It gives you a very pretty flush of color. Alright, so now you're in 8th grade and you're the smarties of the school, so you gotta look the part, right? So I used a fluffy brush, Sephora Flashy Liner in Dark Purple, and MAC Eyeshadow in Modelette. So first I made a very thin line with the liner and you don't want to make it too dramatic because you're still in middle school. Then I just got a simple q-tip and smudged it out so it'd look even more smudgy and school appropriate. Alright so then I got the MAC eyeshadow and modelette and the fluffy brush and I just put this in my crease. And doing this just kind of fades out the sparkliness of the color that we used from 7th grade and it makes it look a lot more mature and very 8th grade. <laughs> Alright, so that is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful for you. And yeah, I, yeah I'll see you in my next video. Bye!